Yes, God, honey, it's the dog, Miss Funky Dineva Ross, and I am serving candy online realness, bitch. Yes, God, honey, this is Miss Candy after the first escape check. Be sure to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. You get to say it from the point of view of somebody from okay, the outside. Right. Like, man. And then people from the outside looking in, they have all these different opinions, you know, so. so. Yeah, it's up to you, huh? Yeah, I'm just saying. Okay, but well, we'll talk about what star, what we'll start, we already got enough touchy feelings that we're talking about. Okay. We'll start with that. Tell us when. Or are we rolling now? That's all. Uh, right. What up, y'all? You know, I am your girl, Candy. And it's the dog, Miss Funky Dineva Ross, honey. My hair is laid like Lily Garicci from Charles the Sunset, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad you decided to come by the candy factory today. I'm a little stressed. Why? I had to come talk to you. Oh, child. Last night was crazy. Bitch. I tossed and turned all night, Miss Candy. No, you no, did No, I not. did, I did. My spirit wasn't right. Okay, please, tell me why your spirit wasn't right. It it just got real ratchet up in there, and I don't know why, and I... Tell me, tell Candy, let her right. bring this shit for real about me. I'm for real about this shit. Come on, bitch, come on, so break. Okay, it did get ratchet. It got real ratchet, it got real and somebody ratchet. ass is lying. And somebody okay. ass is doing too much. Tell me who's lying. Let me back up. Is it me or you the only Grammy winning celebrity that was in there, but she had security? <laughs> like, <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> Let's let the people know who we're talking about. Okay, last night we taped the episode of Candy Coated Nights, and Funky Deneva Ross mm -hmm. was on our panel. And we had Mary Jane from Love and Hip Hop, who is the mistress um, of Kirk, which. I don't even that talking about that alone bothers me because you know of course I'm friends of Rashida and Kirk, but that's a whole nother subject. Anyway, Mary Jane came to our show with her bodyguard, Mama. Her mama publicist, came. Her publicist personal came. Personal chef. Per what? The big girl with the purse. She like she had cheeseburgers in her purse. <laughs> the one they kept saying. <laughs> Is this her setup? Is this her setup? Okay. You're right. She was there. She was there. And then, out of the blue, doggone Bambi came and she was ready to rake, you know. No, world. but see, I don't think so. You don't think she was coming to show out on um, Mary Jane? I think she was coming to be an intimidating presence, but I don't think she was coming in there to go ham or to try to fight her. Well, as soon as Bambi came into the room, Mary Jane jumped up and started know, cursing and lying words. And if you notice on any of the videos that I've seen, mm -hmm. Bambi never said anything. Like Mary Jane just popped off. You're right. I think Bambi for me, just walked through the door. You're right. You're right. And she just stood there. And before you go further, I would say to her credit, to Mary Jane's credit, I could get why her and her people would feel potentially like it was a setup. Because the timing was everything. Well, but it's an internet show and we pub it on Twitter. Yes, everybody knew, well, excuse me, everybody knows that we promote who the guests are for our show. Um, we had posted the flyer for Mary Jane earlier that day. Tags, which is um, my boutique in Smyrna, it's open to the public. Mm -hmm. Anybody can come to Candy Coated Nights. So it's not like. You know, she had to be set up. I mean, right. it was it was open right. information, and Bambi has been a guest on Candy Coated Nights before, so she already knew how to right. get there. Exactly. And you know, and not to mention, Bambi bombed her interview on V103, and we didn't set that up. I mean, exactly, that had nothing to do, do with us. Stop! 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 stop, 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 stop. Okay. Everybody, everybody, chill out. Everybody, chill out. <laughs> Tell me what you was thinking. I was thinking what the hell is going on here. Well, first of all, Bambi Mama was in there tussy rolling like she was a drunk old lady under a tree <laughs> drinking Michelob. Before we could even get the show started, she was screaming from the back. And I'm Mary Jane Mama. I mean Mary Jane, Mary, Mary Jane Mama. She easily looked like she could be in the Frankie Mama D crew. Oh, saying, no. okay. okay. It's so hard to, you know, get on the subject of people's moms because I don't want to be disrespectful to anybody's mom. But her mom was. Her mama was real sick. drunk. Her she mama had, had a couple Michelobes and the Benz and the Hedges. Like she was real, you know, old people call them Benz and the Hedges. And she, but I saw her, but she had a Deaconess number two dress on oh, with she, the collar on. She was fly now. You know, it was so funny. She seemed like she would have been so nice and she sweet. She did. But she really was ready to show out on That's, that ass. And that Michelob, okay. and that Michelob she, get you. 
Anyway. Bambi walks in, Mary Jane pops off. Yes. And then it's World War Three. Like, honestly and truthfully, Candy, yeah. I couldn't wrap my head around what was going on. You had, we were trying to get the audience under control. You had production trying to get the audience under control. You had both entourages going at each other. Yes. And you had the whole audience pulling out camera phones, cheering and ranting and doing a tussie mm -hmm. roll. Like, it was just crazy. Well, now let's go back to what you said a little bit earlier about right. you didn't understand why she had a bodyguard. I do understand why Mary Jane has a bodyguard. Okay. And that is because right now with the storyline of her being this mistress to Kirk, who has been married to Rashida 10, 12 years and been together for over 15 years. I mean, clearly, you know, people feel a certain kind of way about this mm -hmm. subject and people out the street want to come up and whoop ass. So you think somebody just see her in Kroger and Publix and just knock the hell out of her with a sub sandwich? You what I saw last night and felt between Bambi and Mary Jane, very much real. That was very real. Very much real. That very was real. That real. was ready about that was ready to tear my off story the cuff. Up. Right. I'm not so sold on this Kirk Rashida Mary Jane hot tub situation. Okay. Well, I don't want to get off too much into that, but okay. what I would say about this. At first, I wasn't believing it, and I was still like, oh, yeah, yeah, whatever. But watching that woman put her lips <laughs> on Kirk, it bothered me. Mm -hmm. It bothered my spirit and my uh -huh. soul. Uh -huh. And to see the other chick kiss him in his mouth, I was like, oh, uh -huh. it's just uh -huh. like, dude, I did not know that we were interviewing her for Candy Coated Nights. Okay. Uh, we were actually we were supposed to be interviewing uh, Portia. You know, oh, okay. Housewives okay. Because you know she's going through the things with her divorce, right. and I wanted to, you know, see how she felt. You know, being a woman, like, okay, you know, how long should it take for you to move on and all this kind of stuff? Or I want to go on being homeless. Which one? I'm okay, just, see. There well, you I'm go. just. I mean, I, I listen. There I you don't go. Make the news. I just reported. Hey, Did Portia. <laughs> Wasn't the shelter people out here when we pulled up giving food in the soup line? <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, in the beginning, I'm gonna own up to what I did from the beginning. I never denied it to nobody, to no blogs, to nobody. Yes, I was there. I know he was married. Yes, I knew from day one when I saw him up at the cabin. When I pulled up over there, I knew he was married. When Benzino introduced him to me, I'm like, yeah, I know who that is. I know he's married. So at all times, I knew he was a married man. Okay. So I own up to being in a hot tub, kissing on hair, man, okay. married man, being in the bed, massaging him, doing whatever. I own up to it. I know what it is, but I'm not married. So, so, so it's okay. It's, no, it's not okay, but we do it every day. We got our mamas, our aunties that done did it. I'm not the first, I'm not gonna be the last. You got a couple of mamas, a couple of aunties that done been with married men. Like, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, I'm not the first, and I'm definitely not gonna be the last, but I mean, a married man was in my motherfucking playground, so I played with him, and that's what that is. Well, well, here's now, the I thing. I ain't gonna lie, I do rock with you. <laughs> you don't owe his wife something he do. Right? Yeah, right. Now, I will right. say, honey, because I'll okay. fuck the old nasty married dad in the middle. <laughs> you will? I sure will. Let me tell you something. That vow, that vow he took was between him and that woman. I don't know. If God really, truly didn't mean for people to cheat all the time, he wouldn't have made us get turned on when we see other people, Miss Candy. That is not true. That's when you're supposed to use your will to stop yourself from just doing any damn thing. Just because, you know, you see something that look good don't mean that it's good for you. But if it falls in your lap, you should most certainly should open your legs. That's uh, what I say. Nah. Well, mm -mm. well. Everything you open your legs <laughs> for might get you, might get you messed up. Mm. Mary Jane. <laughs> the one right here with security, uh -huh. bitch. Ah! Exactly. Mm. Okay. Well. So what else tripped you out about last night? That, um, the reason why I got real silent is I don't have a middle gauge, I'm either zero or 60, and I can get real ignorant and bold. Oh, and we know yeah, that. I'm glad and you know that. Right. Like, I don't like you. Right, you know, <laughs> you're a whore. You know, I'll go to the minute. The craziest thing, that's not the first time that has happened when oh. somebody's pump, popped up on somebody. Remember Mimi, when we had uh, Mimi Stevie popped up on yeah, I mean, well, maybe we and need to start doing some, closed sets. Somebody else did it again. Maybe we need to start because I really. Oh didn't no! Um, Erica said she was gonna pop up With on Shay, um, Shay but Child. she didn't have a baby suit. <laughs> that was she told well, what was Mama D. Mama D was well, there with Shay, Shay, and Erica said she was gonna come up. Well, child, maybe we should start doing a closed set. We got to because I cannot afford for somebody to help my stuff. Okay. Mm -hmm. And shooting through the windows had them gang banging in little rock, honey. I hate for you to have bullet fragments in them cheap ass Girl. dresses you would just say like. Oh, wait, Girl. I know you <laughs> 
Kim Kimble. Uh, young Gaha, shout out to Kim she Kimble, baby. Oh, nasty. Shout out to Kim Kimble. Shout out to Kim Kimble. Shout out to Kim Kimble. Real street corner. Oh, girl. <laughs> don't pull it, honey. Don't pull it. Miss Corbin, the kind of rainbow. Not too much. Well, you know, I do get to interview um, Rashida when she gets back. All right. I was going to interview her before she left, but she has to, you know, try to get stuff. everything together gotcha. for the reunion. But when she comes back, I will be interviewing her, and I can't wait to see what she And can I be there? Because it's going to be hard for you to be objective and that's your best friend, so we do need a neutral third party. That's true. I'll ask her how she okay. feels about that. Okay. You know, so, okay. Anyway, well, girl, well, I, guess we'll... I ain't giving me a little drink because I'm still a little stressed out from last night. You want to go with me and Nessa down to the bar? I guess I'll go and watch you drink. Drink. Shall you kill me? You will have a cocktail before we get out of here. Cheat well, up. all right. Until next time, I am your girl Candy. And this is Lily Galici. Hell late like Shots of Sunset. <laughs> Always check in on candyonline.com as well as funky.neva.com.